Well, we've got some other games you might want to play this summer. We've got Jameen Warren joining us now from Brooklyn, sunny Brooklyn. Thanks for joining us, sir. We really appreciate it. So Hello, let's go. how are you doing? We're, we're doing great. Let's go through. We've got three, three great games that you think we might want to play. Um, Pocket Planes. Yes, Pocket Planes is developed by, uh, by two brothers uh, that run a game development studio called Nimblebit. Um, I, wasn't never, I wasn't really the kind of person who thought I would be into a game like this, but uh, you basically play as an air traffic controller, so you have an overview of the entire world, and you choose a home base of operations, and then the game consists entirely of you, entirely of you shuttling people and cargo from one destination to another. Um, what's great about this is it's, it's definitely it's an open environment, so you can kind of choose how exactly you want to play the game. My personal goal right now is just to figure out how to run a very efficient fleet in Europe. I have a I have a little pathway through Tehran and Dakar. I was talking about this on the elevator with someone, and uh, I sounded absolutely lo absolutely loony because <laughs> you know I don't actually own a uh, international shipping company, but it does make you feel like that from time you, to time. You felt like that. So I've watched that movie, Pushing Tin, about air traffic yes. controllers. That, now that <laughs> looks really stressful. Is this game really stressful or is it, is it, is it, is it fun? It, it, is it's, it actually fun? It's not stressful. Uh, it's more like gardening or tending to an ant farm, uh, in large part because people, unlike you know real airports, people don't get upset when they're left stranded in southern mm. Europe for weeks at a time and none of the planes crash. So there's no element of it that you feel like, oh my gosh, i got to get things from you know, point A to B. Oh, that's good. So Datora, that's another one. This is on the PlayStation Network. Absolutely. Um, so Sony has taken sort of an art house approach for their downloadable game titles. Um, they've had some success with kind of more out there types of games, such as Flower and Flow. Um, the Chur was developed by a Polish game studio, and it takes its cues from filmmakers like David Lynch um, or popular games, let's say, like Myst. So you sort of wake up from this coma. Um, you don't know who you are. It's really a, a quest for your particular identity. Uh, one of the cool things about the game is that it, it's used for uh, the PlayStation Move, which is the little one like controller that Sony released as a competitor to the, the Nintendo Wii, and you have this disembodied hand in front of you. Um, you know, the, the, the great thing, and perhaps the complaint about the Chur is that um, it can be very confusing, but that's part of the mystery as well. And, you know, frankly, it's exciting to see games get pushed more in that direction. Um, there's obviously a lot of games that you can play that are super easy to pick up and play, like Angry Birds mm -hmm. or something like that. But it's nice to see the game developers are experimenting and trying new and, things. And that one's five to ten hours of playtime. That, that's, that's a really a heck of a lot of time. So Lost Winds 2. Uh, yeah, Lost Winds 2, you know, if Pixar doesn't, uh, they don't make games, but if they did, Lost Winds 2 would be my vote uh, for something that they could create. You play as this little boy named Toku, um, and you basically are looking for your mother. What's great is that it's for the iPad, and you sort of control this little wind spirit. So you pick the little boy up, and you throw him around. Um, you know, the visuals for it, you know, this is something that we're seeing in iPad games. You know, the, the visuals are becoming more profound and, and more interesting, unique, realistic, etc. Um, what's great is that the developer, Frontier, really put a lot of time and effort into giving the characters personality and heart. Um, it's definitely a family kind of game, so you could play it with your son or daughter of it. That's one of my favorite. That's definitely one of my favorites over the last month. Uh, is it, uh, which of these three games that we've looked at, Pocket Planes, Datura, and Lost Winds 2, which of the three would, do, do you think was the most addictive, and then which was the most pleasurable to play for you? <laughs> um, so Pocket Planes is the most addictive <laughs> by, okay. by far, uh, in part because it has short little play sessions. I pick it up the way I would check email. You know, So I pick it up, I do a couple things, put it back down. My girlfriend bothers me about, <laughs> about spending too much time playing it. And then most pleasurable would be Lost Wins, I think, because uh, again, because of the visuals and uh, because of the storytelling involved for that game. Okay, well, it sounds like you've been having a, a lot of fun there. And how? Sorry, very quickly, how much are each of these? Uh, Lost Wins is uh, three ninety nine. Pocket Planes is is free, and Atura is five to seven dollars.